Okay, we left off Mishnah Bura in Hay, page 191, Hay. That if you have a ceiling, although the ceiling doesn't qualify schach, however, if it's less than four amos, we see the ceiling as an extension of the wall, this is the bent wall. So if you have schach in the center, and it's an area which is the meets the dimension of what a suk is, which is minimally seven by seven, it's valid. That's considered the walls are touching the schach, and if you sit in the center, it's a valid sukkah. So he sp spoke of, we just began to say, hey, how do you measure Dalad Amos? But if it's four or more, the Shach Posel, we don't apply the principle of Dauphin So he spoke about a case where the roof is slightly on a diagonal. Meaning if you flatten it out, it would be four. But if it's on a diagonal, it's not four. Right? If you measure from the top of the, the vertical ceiling, a vertical wall straight, it's four Amos. Right? But because it's not diagonal, if you drop it and you measure from the end of that diagonal to the wall, it's less than Dalai Ramos. And nevertheless, I still say Dufan Akuma. That's considered less than Dalai Ramos. Right? Ernie, you with me? Okay. Ernie's able to grasp it with pay attention 50%. <laughs> you can imagine if he paid attention 100%. The unbelievable. Okay. The Maschach Lamal Eine Munach if the schach above is not horizontal, it's not flat, it's slightly slanted. Although, on terms of the diagonal, it's four amos. Only if the expanse is four amos. So what do you do? You go to the end of the wall, drop something, and you measure from there back to the wall. Right? So if it's less than four amos, it's not a problem. Now let's figure out this case. He says, what happens? There's a beam underneath. The Makori Arbamas. And if you here it's on a diagonal, you drop straight down, so the ceiling is not four amos. But if you drop it down beneath, there is a beam. There's a beam. Api Shana Nimsha Hakorib Menushloshit Fochim. Kavon the Bagova Rochut Mer Shloshit Fochim and it's starfin. I understand. So what do you have? You have so where did you put the schach? Yeah, you, ha you have the diagonal. You drop it down. Now you have a beam underneath. Okay. He says even though the beam, if you drop it, you drop something straight down. It's not three tvochim from where the diag where the, the the diagonal ends. Right? There's a beam below. Mm -hmm. So it's not, if it be removed three tvachim, it's not a problem, the beam. So maybe now it should, you should associate it with the ceiling and it should be considered four amos. If the beam is wide enough that you complete four amos, if you associate it with the ceiling. You follow me? The ceiling is on a diagonal. You drop something to the end of the ceiling straight down, you have less than four amos back to the vertical wall. Less than four amos. But if you drop it down, it's going to hit a beam. There's a beam. The beam is wide enough that if you associate that beam and add it to the, to the length of the ceiling, you can have four amos. It's still not Dauphin Akuma. It's still not Dauphin Akuma. So if you have beyond that point, you'll have schach, right? It'll be valid. Kevon, Jibgova, Rochuk, Menno, this. Factually, if it would be within Lovewood, you'd have a, have a problem. 
right? That's the case. Since the beam below is more than three twelve, it's three twelve or more from the from the ceiling. The beam has no relevance to the ceiling. So the ceiling you see as what as an extension of the wall, and the beam you see independent. So the beam itself is let's say is less than three twelve. Is less than four twelve, right? Let's say a, a, a beam hammered in, nailed in. So a hammered in beam is chach posel. If it's chach posel, if it's less than four twelve, you could sit, even sit under it, right? So, you, so if you measure from the beam to the ceiling, you have three or more twelve. So the beam has no relevance to this, even though, in terms of covering, you have the ceiling on the diagonal plus the beam below. Doesn't make a difference. The beam below has no relevance to the to the to the ceiling above. So it's valid. But if you lower the ceiling, you don't lower the ceiling. So let's say, let's say you don't lower the ceiling. Let's say if you lower it on the beam, it's not enough. You don't you don't know if you if if, if you lower it, then we have a problem. Because right, then then, then, then you have four, four amos. Because that beam will complete four amos. The beam itself, the, the ceiling is less than the dollar amos. So therefore, we see the ceiling as a continuation of the of the wall. But if you add the width of that beam to that ceiling, then, then it's, uh, it's already too, it extends too far. But since there's three twelve from that beam to the ceiling, so it has no relevance to the ceiling. So you see the ceiling independent. More than three twelve. Has to be more than three twelve. Yeah, three or more. Three or more separation. Three of so it has no relevance to the ceiling. Therefore, therefore, I'm able to say Dolphin Akuma. No, it's not too cool. It's simple. This is, is a simple one. No, yes, it's, it's not about concept of love. Since love. you don't say love, but now and, and you now and you're able to say dofen akuma. Right. Okay. However, the mechaber says, what about to sleep under the dofen akuma? Of course, you can't. The ceiling, that part, you can only sleep under the center where you put the schach. But the ceiling factually is considered, it's, it's, it's the wall, it's like we had earlier. If you have, if you have a wall on a diagonal, a wall on a diagonal, and then you put schach, right? Or we said it's considered you have a roof and a wall. Remember we had the case where you can't sleep under the wall, unless the wall is made of the material that qualifies as schach. So over here you can't sleep under the ceiling, because the ceiling is what? It's, 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 it's not valid material. Okay. He's interesting in discussing the interesting case. What happens if you have a beam here? Three tefachim extend over the wall. It's one beam, and the tefach extends outside of the sukkah. The fact that it's one beam. So say if you're sitting on the stach puzzle, which is less than three tefachim, four tefachim. Not a problem. But so in the sukkah, you only have three tochim in the beam. A tefach extends outside of the sukkah. Could you sleep under that beam? Why not? Yeah. No, because he says, because the, he says, because the actual beam is four tochim. No, it doesn't make a difference, but it's called the beam. Right? It, the, factually, it's Gazeris. It's Halochum Mishisinai, Schach Posel. That's he's explained what does Schach Posel mean? Schach Posel doesn't mean only what, what, what you're sitting on there. If that beam is part of something else, which is fourth Tvochim, even though it's not directly over the sukkah, it's a Chiddush. I mean, what he's saying is a Chiddush. You know, if... Modasin leo sim drevim re sha'at Tvochim al tzidein devare imbo do al Tvochim mishum nasig shkud shal matov negamkin hochi. So he wants to say it's similar. If you have, we had a case before, you had a board which was fourth Tvochim wide, and you put it on its side. Right? Even though it's, it's not really comparable. So we said earlier it's not valid. Because the beam itself is a beam which doesn't qualify as kosher schach. Because if you lay it flat, it'd be four tvochim. Rather than lay, laying it on its width, you lay it on its on its on the narrow part. Right? You buy uh, two by fours. But two by four means 
four tefachim, not four four inches, and you stand them upwards rather than flat. Right. So we said earlier it's possible, even though what you're sitting under is only two tefachim, not four tefachim. But we said, but since the beam itself is a beam before, it's a problem. Right? It's gezeris tikra. That's gezeris because that's the type of beam used to put it use in the ceiling of a house. Right? That's what we said earlier. So he's one say the same thing over here. Even over here we're dealing with something which is chach posel on the Torah level. He was talking about something that's hammered into, into the into the ceiling as part of the roof. Three extend over. One is extends over the outside of the sukkah. He says, it's not so simple. It's not simple. Because factually, uh, uh, for a problem like Ernest said, because factually, how much is really covering you? There, even if you sit and stand on its narrow side, factually, the whole board is in the sukkah. So you're sitting under a, a board. If you put it flat, it will be for tefachim. Here, no, no. Here we're talking about a tefach of the board is outside the sukkah. It has no relevance. You understand? The case before speaking about, you take a four tefach board, put it on the narrow side. What are you sitting on there? Two tefachim, but what is the board? The full board is within the sukkah. Here we're talking about three tefachim extend into the sukkah, one tefach is outside the sukkah. What are you sitting on there? You're sitting under a board, which is only three tefachim, because the other half has no relevance. It's not, the, it's not the covering you. So if it's not covering you, why should it invalidate the sukkah? He says, that's what Mughan Avram questions whether we'll invalidate it or not invalidate it. Then, of course, the two cases are not really comparable. Because before the whole board is in the sukkah. Here, the whole part of the board is outside the sukkah. That's the difference. Well, no, yes, so before, we learned that, that the, door, uh, the, the ceiling was all hammered in with nails, and then you took off part of that ceiling. That would make the rest of the board they were all soft material, but you took off one board with the nails and then you left everything else in. Didn't you say that that's soft we had, we had difficulty with that because that was, we had, he did say it is, not that yeah. one, no, no, you had to. Whatever, it's a few in the middle. Yeah, right. Okay. We had difficulty with that because there had to do with the tassel of an ocean. We had difficulty with that. We had difficulty with that. No, 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 no. There, there was a Xeris Tikra. There you did something to, to reveal that you understand that it's a problem. Right? Okay. What's the reason? Right? right. That, that's the case we're speaking about over there. It was put in originally as a, as a ceiling, and you did something by removing the nail, so you reveal that you understand that this is not an ordinary resonance. So therefore, rabbinically, we don't invalidate it. But we... Right, that, that was the case over there. But yeah. we asked on that. We, we had difficulty because when he hammered it in, it wasn't put in for shade. It was put in as a permanent residence. So right. It should have still be tassel of an also. That's the question we asked. We, we never had shot over there. Okay, let me continue.